Hey, Lightning here, back with another video. Um, so today we're going to be drawing this fish here. Um, just to let you know, I did record this uh, when I was first starting my channel. So the video has been re-audioed and re-edited. So it shouldn't be up like ne last neater. So I made this yellow beta fish, beta spun ends. Um, and I used uh, my Pigmore Micron markers, which you'll see in a second. Um, so this is a Pigmore Micron I just used mainly for inking. Um, and then I also have my Stabilo uh, fine liner pens, which I used to color the scales. Because uh, it made it, it changed the, rather than having just black, it had this color overlay. Um, and then I also used my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers, which I only had 12 of, the blue pack and the yellow pack at this point. So yeah, so I colored this yellow beta with it. So enjoy! So here I use my my Pigment Micron pens. I used the finest one, which is 005, and I basically went through and outlined the fish where I had previously drawn, and made sure I got all the areas. And so here I went ahead and finished it up. All of the inking is done now. I have covered the entire uh, pencil sketch with an inked sketch. One thing I really like about the Pig Micron is that it does not bleed when using the, the um, alcohol markers on top of it. Now, it did dry for, like, maybe less than a minute, but um, and it will smear if you s try and do it directly after applying the Micron pen. But um, I really like it because after you have let dry for, like, maybe a minute, maybe less, um, you are able to then go back and just do your markers. So I did use a thicker pen to darken certain areas that needed extra definition. Um, the 05 was not dark enough for some of the areas, so I went back in and I believe it was an 01 I used. So just one size up, um, but uh, it just adds a little more. So you can see that I've added the, um, to the original, the, uh, um, Stabilo marker to make the edges of the um, fish have that orangish tint similar to the actual uh, color of this body as well. So I have, um, I'm just going back in with the gills. Um, so I have these four colors of markers, the yellow, a uh, light orange, a light red, and a dark red. And I made this card to test to see which one I wanted the best. I used um, the Sibylla markers. I and I also have my uh, my al al alcohol markers that I'm going to use with it. Uh, so here's how I made that test sheet. Basically, I scribbled down a bit of the uh, uh, Pigment Micron, and then I colored over it with my Sibyllas, and then I used the alcohol markers beside it to see which ones I wanted the best, and which ones I liked the best. Um, and I ended up choosing the red and the orange, and as you can see, I colored the dark body with the red, and the fins with the orange. Because um, I, I really felt like the body needed to be a little bit darker, but the fins needed to be lighter, so I chose to do it that way. Um, so then I went in and I did the scales with the orange, because that's the color of the beta fish's body that I wanted it to be. So you just go in and I made these half circles um, to simulate the scales. And like in tight areas, like under the chin flap, under the chin where the gills are, and like along the, um, the upper part of his face, uh, you want them to be closer together and over the larger parts of the body, you want to be the further apart, especially when you get close to the tail, because they are very far, very widely spaced at the end of the tail. So here is the original I am showing colors. I use CT1 for this very first light coloration on this tail. 
Then I used CG4 in, behind it, which is a slightly darker yellow. And then I used GB5, which is that one light rim you see. And then the orange on the outside is OR1. Um, I did like the GB5 because it did give that kind of shine to it that um, you imagine you'd see in the wild or if a fish is under light, you have that shine, kind of shine. So that's the OR1. So I used just these five colors, four colors, sorry, I miscounted, four colors, and the pens. So it just shows you don't have to have a lot of colors uh, to do a whole lot of stuff. So I started with the GB1 and uh, just did lightly over the bottom tail fins and the uh, fins of the underneath the chin and his movement fins. Then I went back with the CG4. Um, and then I went back with the GB5, and um, then with the OR1. And you want to do it in either a light to dark or dark to light order so that you can blend them. Now, I didn't really do it in this particular one, but if you start with a light color and then put a slightly darker color and then blend it with light color again, it makes a really good blend. And so you can do that again and again as you get darker in shades. So, and then we just finished up the tail, and after that, I just did a light coat of, I believe it was actually, it was CT4, I think, on the body, and um, then went back in with a little bit darker shade, I believe GB5, and a little bit of OR1 to add shading to make it look more realistic and give the curves of the body a little bit more depth. So... Thank you for watching, um, hope you enjoyed the video, um, if you liked the video or if you have suggestions for other videos, please leave a comment down below. Have a great day, bye.